Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the convection fan motor on your range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to turn off power to the range. So you either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses, and then we can start the repair. Now that we've disconnected the power, our next step will be to remove the oven door. That gives us easier access to work inside of the oven. So simply open it completely. We'll remove the two oven racks to get those out of the way. And just set those aside. Now to remove that door, we need to engage these two stops, one on either hinge. So using a small flat blade screwdriver, just going to pry those out of the opening and then push them flat down onto the hinge as far as they will go. Do the same for both sides. Once those are in position, we'll simply close that door up until it meets those stops. Then grasping both sides of the door, tilt it to a closing type position and then lift it away. And we can just set that aside for now. Now with the oven racks and the oven door out of the way, we have better access to removing this cover over the convection fan assemblies. We need to remove two screws, one at the bottom and one at the top. And then we can set that assembly aside. Now next we'll need to remove that fan blade. So using a nine millimeter nut driver, we'll just grasp one of the blades of the fan and has a left hand thread on that retaining nut, so we're going to turn it clockwise to loosen it. So we remove the nut, the fan blade, and then pull the spacer off of the shaft. And we'll set those aside so that we can install on the new motor. Now next we'll go to the back of the range and remove the back panel. Now with the back panel removed, our next step will be to disconnect the wire harness to that convection motor. Simply pull the harness off of the motor terminals. And then we'll remove three screws that secure the mounting bracket to the back wall. And then we'll pull that whole motor assembly out and discard it. Now when installing the new motor assembly, we want to make sure that we have that little cup installed over that E-ring. So make sure that's fitted firmly on there. And then we can slide that into the opening and line up the screw holes. Now once we have all three mounting screws secure, we're ready to reattach the wire harness. And now we can put the back panel on. Now when reinstalling that back panel, we want to make sure that we line up those hooks with the slotted openings up close to the top. With the hooks engaged, you can just let that panel hang there, and then we'll reinstall the mounting screws. Depending on your model, there will need to be five or six screws that we need to attach. And now we're ready to push the range back into place. So we'll begin by putting both racks back in. And then we're ready to put the door on. Now when inserting the door, make sure that we get it all the way into those openings. Tilt it up so there's a four or five inches of opening at the top to make sure that we've got it pushed firmly into place. Then lower it. And you should be able to lower it to a flat position. If you can, you simply need to push those stops back up into the openings in the oven liner. Close up the door, make sure it closes all the way. And then finish pushing the range into place. We're now ready to push the range back into place. Reconnect the power and your repair is complete. 